for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you how to pass the members which is related to the beam sign columns in the designing section as per the standards okay so if you design the building structure according to the standard then it will show you the perfect design results if not it will show you the errors regarding the concrete frame design section okay so initially i will show you the model which i was obtained the uh, members are not passing for the respected design consideration then i will show you how to rectify those results uh, to the a uh, perfect reinforcement design details in etap software okay so here i am selecting my etap software 18 software now i am selecting the model click on the file option click on open option so here i am selecting my file which is related to the model general building model so the model will be open so initially i will show you the properties which is related to the considerations as per the is codal provision now you can see here this is the 3d model this is the plan model for the respected g plus uh, 11 story building structural model so initially I will show you the properties, click on define option material property for this building I was taken M25, M40 grade concrete provision and HYSD bars of 500 grade steel. Again in the same process I was taken the frame sections which is having dimensions is approximately 0 0.23 cross 0 0.46 and the column is 0 0.23 cross 0 0.69 okay. So click on close cancel option. So again I will show you the designing section results. So after analysis process completed we need to proceed with the designing section. Further go to click on the design option, concrete frame design. Firstly, we have to click on the uh, view revised preferences. So in this, we need to check the IS codal provision step by step by step all sections here like this. Click on OK option. Again, in the same process, we have to click on the design option, concrete frame design. So now we have to click on the start designing check option so that it will start designing check for the respected uh, building considerations according to the uh, considerations of the dimensions and load cases. So for this building, I was taken the loads which is comes under the both gravity loading condition systems and lateral loading condition system and the load combination which is included on that particular structure. Now you can see here all the beams are uh, done with designing process. Now I will show you in 3D model. Click on the 3D view option. So now we can see here the uh, some of the beams are showing the pink color and some of the beams and columns are showing here with the red color mark. Okay, the red color mark in the particular frame section will be obtained due to presence of the uh, failing of the members. Okay, this respected failing of the members will be obtained due to the presence of the high amount of the loading condition system on that particular frame section. Okay, so in order to resolve this respected uh, failing member to uh, passing members, we need to change the dimensions of the columns as well as the beams and reinforcement included on that particular column and beam, uh, beam section. Okay, so basically, if you want to, if you provide the uh, perfect design results and perfect reinforcement assumptions, then it will show you the zero errors. If if not, then it will show you the failing members here like this. Okay, so if you import this particular model to the detailing process in CSI, it will showing the message frames are not uh, designed as per the consideration. So I will show you that process also. Before that, we need to save this model, particular model, Control S option. Just I am closing this uh, ETAPS application. So now I am opening my CSI detailing version 18 software. Okay. So the so initially we need to import the model from ETAPS software to CSI detailing version uh, for complete detailing process according to the consideration. So click on the file option, click on uh, op, uh, new detailing option. So firstly, we have to select the model. Just I am selecting model option, general option here. Okay. So the model will be initially read the data in ETAP software. Then after that, it will be directly import the data, particular data to the CSI detailing version. Now you can see here, it, the data is importing from the ETAP software to CSI detailing version software according to the considerations. Now you can see here, the processing was completed with uh, 8 for 486 warnings okay so now we can see here the all the beams are failing due to the presence of the high amount of the shear reinforcement section and uh, reinforcement required to be exceeding as per the maximum allowable section for the building structure okay so in order to solve this particular error firstly we have to close this uh, option cancel option just i am closing this option again i am going to the etap software here so initially i will open the model again for doing the detailing process according to the considerations so click on the file option on the top which is showing on the etap software so directly i'm selecting here general building model double click on it so the project model will be open here like this now the model will be open here like this so firstly we have to unlock the model 
click on OK. So click on the define option here on the top. Click on the section properties, frame section. So as per my consideration, I am taking the beam size which is of 0 0.23 ka 0 0.46. But for this particular section, the cross section of the beam is not sufficient according to the reinforcement section. So in order to resolve that respected error, we need to increase the dimensions of the beam and column section. For that, click on modify option here. So firstly, we have to change the dimensions. So this is the example uh, one just I am considering. This practical situations of the dimensions is not available in the practical building consideration. You can take according to the uh, requirement of your respected uh, dimensions of the column around this uh, 500 mm value. So here I am say taking the assumption as 500 mm cross 500 mm for the beam section. Just I am taking, just I am taking 500. Click on the modify option. Next I am taking the cover is 50 mm here. Again I am taking the cover is 50 mm here. Click on OK. Again click on OK option. Select the 0 0.69 cross 0 0.69. Click on modify show property option. Next I am selecting the column sizes approximately 0 0.69 cross 0 0.69. Next I am taking this particular value is 690 mm. Again I am taking this. Click on modify option. Select this reinforcement value is 6 option here. Again I am selecting this 6 option here. So click on this cover. Just you can take 60 mm click on ok option so now we have to click on ok option again i am selecting ok option here in the same process i will change the dimensions of the slab section click on the slab section modify option so here i was taken 150 mm so just i am taking 180 mm instead of the 150 mm dimensions so click on ok option then after that we have to do the analysis process again for the building consideration section just i am doing the uh, run analysis option okay so that it will do the analysis process again for the building structural consideration according to the uh, standards. Now we can see here after the analysis the deflection diagram is showing here like this. So we need to design the beam section, column section as well as the slab section here now. Before that we need to add the uh, slab section property which is related to the grids for the respected consideration. Go to define, uh, for that go to edit option, add edit grid strips option, select add edit grid strip. Next, I am selecting 12 story which is in X direction with strip layer is A. Click on apply. Again, in the same process, I am applying the strip condition system for the Y direction condition system uh, with the B layer here. Next, I am selecting the direction will be Y which is B. Click on apply option so that it will apply the strip layer condition system for the Y direction case. Click on OK option. Just I am selecting only the one story for the designing of the slab section for the 12th story itself. Click on OK option. Then after that we need to do the analysis process again for the respected building consideration section. Okay. For that go to click on the run analysis option here again. So that it will do the analysis process again for the respected building consideration section. Now you can see it was done with the uh, analysis process. Now we have to design this. Go to click on the design option. Concrete frame design. View revised preferences. Select IS456-2000 same as per the uh, previous section. Click on design option. Directly click on the concrete frame design so click on the start designing check option so that it will start designing check for the respected beam sections column sections according to the uh, taken dimensions of the beams and columns now you can see here it was done with all designing section but some of the beams which is related to the small dimensions are failing here you can change the dimensions obviously it will change the uh, red color mark to pink color mark okay now we have to import the model from the ETAP software to CSI detailing version software. So for that just I am selecting CSI detailing version software. So click on the file option, click on new detailing option. So here I am selecting model general building. So the model will be again in open in ETAP software then after that it will be imported to CSI detailing version. So now again it is showing the message here like this which is related to the failing of the members here. So, but uh, the message which is related to the previous one is different and this message is different. So, if you change the dimensions, then it will, it will show you the perfect design results. So, here I am selecting uh, uh, preferences option according to IS456-2000. Click on concrete preferences. You can change that uh, property according to your consideration. So, I am selecting detailing preferences, beam section. So, column section. Again, I am selecting rebar rules option. So, here I am selecting minimum will be of 120 option and maximum will be of 450 for the respected uh, consideration just I am taking 120 here 120 here sorry this is not the value so here I am taking 120 value here 120 value here this is the 450 value here again this is the 450 value this is the 450 value just I am selecting the column this is also 120 option let us take 120 again I am selecting this value is 450 option click on ok option 
again i'm selecting uh, okay option directly so that it will start designing check for the respected beam sections column section for the g plus 2l story building structural model now we can see click on the beam designing section so again i'm selecting concrete beam section uh, elevation section select any one of the beam oh now we can see it is showing the sum of the reinforcement design results for the beam sections according to the consideration okay but some of the beams are failing here so because of the considerations of the higher amount of the load cases it is not showing any kind of the reinforcement designs but uh, uh, majorly the all the beams are passing uh, 90% of the beams are passing here just i'm selecting the column section again elevation select any one of the column so click on the elevation section this is the elevation section for the column click on a section now you can see this is the reinforcement design results for the respected consideration you can directly click on the rebar kgu option so that it will load the complete reinforcement uh, bars which is comes under this particular column section from the ground story section to the top story section according to uh, designing section okay now you can see this is the complete reinforcement design results for the column so in this way you can eliminate the uh, warning message uh, which is comes under the failing of the beams to passing of the beams uh, and columns by using etap software application so if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i'll try to give the answer for that respected question so if you change the dimensions of the beam section column section obviously it will try to reduce the warnings for the design consideration thank you